Today we'll be going through what daily inspections you should be doing before using your hoist. Check for external oil leaks and repair as necessary. This is extremely important due to accelerated wear that will result from insufficient lubrication. For a hoist with a side glass, ensure the side glass is clear and functional, then visually check the oil level daily. For a hoist without a side glass, check the oil level monthly if no external leaks are detected. Oil level must be maintained between the minimum and maximum levels midway up the sight glass or at the bottom of the level plug port depending on the hoist model. Check hydraulic fittings and hoses for chafing, deterioration or corrosion and replace if necessary. Visually inspect rotation indicator transmitters, anti two block devices and other safety equipment to ensure they are working properly. Visually inspect for corroded, loose or missing bolts, pins or other fasteners and replace or tighten as necessary. The vent plug is located in the drum support as shown. It allows trapped gases inside the hoist to escape. Make sure this vent is clean and unobstructed. A warm-up procedure is recommended at each startup and is essential at ambient temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius. Run the crane at its lowest recommended RPM with the hydraulic hoist control valve in neutral for a sufficient time to warm up the system. The hoist should then be operated at low speeds forward and reverse several times to prime all hydraulic lines with oil and circulate gear oil throughout the planetary gear sets. Please note that any time a hoist exhibits erratic operation or unusual noise, the hoist must be taken out of service until it is inspected and serviced by a qualified technician. Continued operation of a hoist with a defect in a critical component may lead to loss of load control, property damage, serious injury, or death. If you have any questions, go to packerwinch.com.